Hi guys, yesterday I made this gorgeous chicken pot roast in milk, bay and nutmeg and it was so, so delicious. Just a couple of extra steps as well to turn a normal roast chicken into something a lot more special and tasty. Really, really nice. I served it up with just some mashed potato and my Cuban glazed carrots and some Italian braised shallots, which are really, really good. Both recipes I'll put below in the description and you'll also find both the full recipes over on my blog, so check that out. So start off by heating about 25 grams of butter in a large saucepan big enough to fit a whole chicken and add about two tablespoons of olive oil so it doesn't burn. Once that starts to sizzle and foam, go ahead and add in your chicken. I'm using a free range organic chicken, 1.8 kilograms, which is quite big, but it did feed a lot of people. Now season generously with some sea salt flakes. After a couple of minutes, just turn it over onto its breast side so that it'll brown and you want it to be browned slightly on all sides. Once browned all over, I turned it back over breast side up before I added 350 milliliters of whole milk. Then four fresh bay leaves and tuck them in all around the chicken. Next, the recipe calls for 10 peeled whole garlic cloves to be added, but because my garlic heads were pretty small, I used two whole heads. Any excuse to use more garlic. Next, I took a whole nutmeg and gave it a good grating over the chicken. I'd say I probably used a quarter or a third of this nutmeg and it was really, really nice. It's definitely worth grating it freshly as well like this on a microplane grater. If you don't have a microplane or can't be bothered getting one, then you can use the powdered stuff, but it just won't be the same at all. Now take two unwaxed lemons and finely grate the zest into the chicken as well. You're going to need a microplane grater for this. A uh, cheese grater won't do because that's going to take too much of the white pith off the lemon, which is a really awful flavour and it'll ruin it. Then once the milk starts to boil, clamp the lid on and remove it from the hob and transfer it to a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for an hour and a half. You're going to want to baste it a few times with a turkey baster or if you don't have one then a spoon. This will keep the meat really moist and juicy and so, so flavoursome. I basted this chicken three times in total. The second time was halfway through cooking and I left the lid off the pot for the rest of the cooking time. This will really make the chicken skin brown up. After that, I just basted it one more time before returning it to the oven for a last little blast and then taking it out and it was perfectly cooked. Really, really flavoursome, really, really delicious. So that's it. Just a simple way of serving a roast chicken, which is something already really tasty and comforting and having people think that you did something very special, which you did too. Then if you like, you can spoon over some of those pan juices as well. Just make sure you separate the fat off them first. Thanks a million for watching, guys. I hope you liked this recipe and I hope you give it a go. I really think you should. You'll definitely like it. If you did like the recipe, be sure to hit the like button below and subscribe to my YouTube channel and check me out on social media. You'll find all the links to my accounts in the description below. And I'll also put the link to the video about the cumin glazed carrots and the Italian braised shallots as well. And you'll also find the link to my blog where you'll find this full recipe at www.rookiecook.org.